as you can see the leaves are falling from the trees like crazy it's November the 5th and lots of leaves on the ground already and the, what I'm walking right now is the pathway that leads towards a castle not far from where I live so the weather is nice so why not This would have been the driveway in the old days that leads towards uh, the entrance. And I grew up here nearby, so obviously I came to play here very, very often when I was a kid. The castle is very old, like, uh, like everything around here. When I was about five or six years old, and the original count that lived there passed away, and that was the end of it. Since then, the castle is uh, owned by the city, and it is used for uh, weddings and official gatherings and, and stuff like that. It, uh, it has been restored a couple times and they also made it up to date uh, in order for uh, fire security and stuff. Hello. And in the old days, the grounds next to this uh, entrance were all, very, all belong, belong to the, uh, the castle. But of course, now it's all developed and there are houses right now. And now it's just uh, the park itself and with the castle that's remaining. And here we arrive uh, close to the entrance. Still the original entrance. Here we are. This is another sort of driveway leading towards this castle. And as you can see way back there, there are houses now. Okay, let's go in. Here on the left hand side, that's where it is, surrounded by water. That, uh, I don't know if it's visible, but that bridge that comes out of that back door that was never there before, of course. 
That was one of the updates for uh, fire regulations. Since they're doing weddings in there, they needed a second exit. And since it's surrounded by water, that was uh, a whole task to make this one. So as you can see, the castle is in fairly good shape. Really old. When the last count that lived there died, uh, I was a little kid, but I still remember going in there with my mother and father. Because all the goods in there, all the furniture, uh, was uh, was being sold uh, publicly uh, a public auction. So here is uh, the surrounding area. Nice big trees, you know. And that's the original uh, walkway towards the entrance here. A little bridge towards the entrance. And this Here the bridge towards the front door, basically. Of course this is a newer door, I guess. But, it's, everything is more or less in original shape, which is nice. Big gate. And then as you can see right across were the horse stables. And the water is not just around the castle, but it's going all the way around the whole property. So actually the whole property is surrounded by this, this uh, water basically. There is another bridge to cross. That's <clears throat> park, trees, that's a nice, nice place. Right here you see that the water goes at the end here to the left and to the right, that's where the property continues, so totally surrounded by water. Here uh, another angle from the street side. Now let's walk back towards the front gate. And they say there was, uh, from the castle, underground there was an escape route. So in, that was for way in the old days. 
when trouble arrived, so to speak, uh, apparently they could escape underground, underneath the water, and it was supposed to come out here somewhere in the woods. I, need, I just need to find it where it was. Oh, I think there it is. It's, uh, it's not too far from the castle, but since there was only basically one exit, you know, they kind of needed an escape road. And here, this little hill that you see, with the trees on top, there was some, I know when I was a kid, there was some kind, oh, there it is. There was some kind of a, a door and an entrance or an exit, I would say. Yeah, but they... See, that's where it was. But obviously they cemented it up so nobody can get in. So, as you can see, there is the castle and the underground tunnel was supposed to come out here. So in case of trouble, they could escape. Uh, now I'm making my way back to the main entrance. Lots of people come here for a walk because it's nice and quiet. And uh, I came this day because here in Europe we have another lockdown, so nobody is supposed to go out or, or they tell people to stay in. So I thought that's a great time to go out <laughs> because it's quiet everywhere. And here we are back on the the main entrance. And now we're taking the other driveway to go back to the street. Okay, that was it. It was a short one this time, but I hope you like it. All right. <laughs>